Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we got another one today. It's not really a how-to, it's more of a process of what I went through to lengthen the wires on my TiVo Tornado 3D printer. Uh, the problem that I was having was when I built my enclosure for my 3D printers, they're, they're about 24 inches wide and the TiVo has that little control box that sits off directly to the, the left side of it. Yeah, it would be as you're looking at it, the left side of it. Um, and the sensor wires, the motor wires are way too short to move that thing around. Uh, so it has to sit right there next to the, the left side. Well, in my enclosure, um, I would have to put it in a little skewed. Sometimes it would hit the, uh, the Z axis or the X axis as it moved up and down the Z, cause my printers to fail or my prints to fail. And a lot of, just a lot of issues, right? It was just, I was constantly fumbling with it. I couldn't get to the SD card very well. I'd have to flip things around. Then I wouldn't put it back right. Problems, 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 right? Need to get away from that. So I went through and I extended the wires. And every printer's going to be a little bit different. This is a Cartesian type printer. Um, it has an AC bed, which makes it a lot different than other printers. So you got to be really careful with that. So no, no real video footage on the AC side, but other than showing what I did. Um, but yeah, I just use ethernet cables, common ethernet cables, snip the ends off, uh, for the motor sensor wires, run extensions and, and solve the problem. So let's, let's just get into it real quick. This is probably the most helpful tip I could give anyone out there that, that's trying to extend the wires on their 3d printer too. Do one wire at a time. So, for example, cut this wire right here that I'm pointing to with my thumb and extend that wire first. Uh, you know, match that to, say, the blue-white wire in your Ethernet cable and do that the same on both ends. Solder that one up and uh, put your heat shrink on that one be done. Then go to the next one, which maybe you could do the next black one. And the reason why, because in a lot of these 3D printers, there's a lot of the same colored wires. You don't want to get those flip-flopped, so I just do them one at a time. Uh, the rest, it's just um, really just a lot of soldering, a lot of heat shrinking, and a lot of taping. And like I say over and over, just do one wire at a time. This is not for the faint of heart, but it's not hard also. You just got to be detail-oriented and keep track of anything. And a continuity meter will come in handy if you need to see and make sure you've got everything correct from one side to the other. Okay, guys, here's some of the tools that I used for the job solder soldering iron uh, some kind of light, lighter or a flame to, to get the heat shrink to kick in and then we got the heat shrink here uh, the cutters from the 3d printer and the wire strippers a knife bunch of tape bunch of ethernet cables and the ethernet cables are easy you just you clip the ends off find some old ones laying around you know I wanted to use around six feet uh, average on these to uh, just to get a, a decent length I don't think I'm gonna need that much to make it inside my enclosure but that's going to give me enough to uh, to make sure I have it also I used for the higher gauge heater wire stuff I used a high gauge speaker wire um, I had to mark that on each end too because these are not gold and silver, so I had to trace them back. That's what you see that black line on there for. So I knew which end was which. Uh, then when I got to the other side, I knew it was hooking the same wire to the same wire. So that's about all I used. Uh, a lot of tedious. Took me a long time. I just spread it out over a couple days here and there. Worked on it when I could. Tested it all in between. I always would do a couple connections. Test it. Make sure it works. A couple more connections do a little test print make sure everything heated and moved fine and that way i just knew i was going in in the, in the right direction and doing everything right that way i didn't do the whole thing ended up with some things not working and end up troubleshooting for several days so to me that was a better way to to bite this off and, and make it happen but you know your way could be different maybe you have a better way if you do leave it in a comment below and, and let's talk about it you know, my, my printer's a little different. It has an AC bed, so I got this big one for the bed here. Uh, a lot of other printers would probably just have this set of wires. Um, but yeah, just your printer will vary. This is a TiVo, TiVo Tornado. Got a lot of dust on it right now. I need to clean it up. But uh, this has the AC bed, and then pretty much everything else is like any CR10 or whatever at that point. Okay, guys, first a tip for... Uh, wire management wire install I guess I guess not management but just install I had to use several of these Ethernet type cables 
for all the motor runs, the uh, end stop sensors. There's just a lot of fans and sensors on these 3D printers, right? So I ended up using three in the motor and sensor run. So I went ahead and I just colored them with tape so I knew which end was which when I got to the other end, right? So I did this one as a red one, this one as a, an orange one, the other one as a, a green one. Uh, so there was... That way, you know, because it's great using an Ethernet cable because it has all already the colored wires in it, the blue, white, blue, green, white, green, all that. But you're going to have multiple of them when you do more than one of these Ethernet cables. That way I could do green, blue, white, blue, you know what I mean? So yeah, I knew it went with this cable, so I'd find that cable here on the other end, and I would use that. So that's one method I did to keep this straight. I think that's all we have today, guys. Just a quick uh, video on how we did this, and we'll get some shots of it in the enclosure and see how it looks.